Jungle Park is expensive card and parking in front of the kindergarten. Step out from the car and put his sunglasses with some bodyguards standing behind him. Roll up his sleeves, revealing his muscular body. Soon he hears his little son's sweet voice coming from the car. I don't want to go to school. I want to come with you to do. He acting like he punching. You are definitely my son, but this age is for studying. So come out. His wife left him after cheating on him, but he loved his six-year-old son more than anything. No, I don't want to go. I know it's your first day after vacation. Everything is new and scary. Hold his back tightly. Scare me? No way. You know I'm super brave. He walked to him side of a car and opened the door. Pick him up with one hand. Come on, we are already late. You have to go. Thirty-three-year-old man who is never scared of anyone can is now lovingly convincing his bun. Boss, you have important mission. We need to go. Turned to bodyguard with angry glance and slapped him. You can see I am talking with my son. Shut your mouth. You will buy chocolate ice cream for me? Asking sweetly. Change his expression from angry to sweet and notes. Of course, you will get it. Jungkook's mother step out from car. No chocolate. My son wants it, and so he will get it, Mom. That's it. Why did you come with us? I come here because I know you will spoil him with chocolate. That's why I'm saying again. But you need to take care of his health too. Can you stop telling me what to do? I can raise my son on my own. Don't you dare to give him any, or his teeth will fall out before me. He is the one and only son. I could buy his whole chocolate factory for him. Anything he says with a cold voice. Now go. You will wait for your class. It's okay if teacher scold him. We will just buy the school. What? Don't spoil him by saying things like that. Be good class and don't fight like your dad. I will try. He ran into court with his tiny legs and carrying the monster back on his back. At least give him normal bed. Why my son like dangerous thing like me? It's completely fine. I hope you find a wife who can control both of you and your naughty son. Let me drop you off the mansion first. I need to go for mission too. Draws his car messily and care carelessly accidentally scratches someone's car. That someone is you. You come out to get something and some and see someone scratching your car. Hey, Mister, can't you drive properly? He ignores your rails and drive away. At least say to sorry. Sorry, it's not in my dictionary. He puts his sunglasses and moves away. Who was that? My car. You dramatically hit your car. It's my first day here as a teacher, and someone scratched my car. What a day! You flip your hair and go inside the classroom. All little kids are sitting properly except the one, Jung Min. He was tearing paper, throwing them at the other kids to annoy them. Teacher, he messed up my hair. He is so noisy, man. You glance at him. Hey, you, sit properly and quietly. This is classroom, not your home. 
but dad says if teacher scold me he will buy the school so it will be my home too what your dad must be joking okay now let's start the class you like it so much so you enjoy to begin teacher in the kindergarten you turn around write some alphabet letters on the board okay student fill in the spellings choose a correct letter for make a name of the fruit He quickly writes his hand your smile. Oh, go ahead. Ma'am, can I go washroom please? I thought you know the answer. Okay, go. This kid look naughty but cute. You continue your class. He didn't come, so you leave the classroom to check corridor to find him. He was running in corridor and punching the wall. I will win all. Father like son. I see him. Hey, come into class right now. Hey ma'am, don't yell at me or I will complain to my dad. He say confidently. Since you keep mentioning your dad, who is your dad, huh? Kindergarten. Understand not your home. You softly pinch his ear and inside him. Few days later, his complaint increased from mother kid. You hold your hand. You have been causing trouble. Tell me why did you jingle me in Mina's hair? For fun, Daddy says. Dad, ah, uh, you talk about him, right? He hasn't taught you anything. But today I'm not going to let him go. Give me your dad's number right now. He need to know about you. But I don't know dad's number. You take his bag, open his diary, and find the number. Mr. Jiang, your dad's number. Where is your mom's number? I don't have mom. Seeing his teary eye, you melt and drop his head, which also helps him to feel better. You dial his number and clear your throat. Excuse me, are you? I meant to talk about. Before you can say anything, Jungkook sits up and slams the desk. What happened? Is he hurt? Nothing happened to your son, but because of him, many students have been hurt. I kindly request you to come office right now. Oh, so sweet voice. Okay, ma'am, I'm coming, but please don't scold him. You hang up the call to his parents without scolding, of course. He will won't understand right from wrong. Is dad coming? Yes. Now sit back in your place. I will meet him. You went to your office and waited for him to arrive. You've been waiting for an hour, but he hasn't come. You stand up to check outside, but accidentally hit the table. At the same time, he enters without realizing. He is also mannerless. He grab your wrist and hold you tightly. Are you okay? You both meet each other's eyes. You blink few time. His strong scent hit your nose, giving you butterflies. Excuse me, who you are? You called me. He continued to hold your wrist, not wanting to let go. She is beautiful, model or teacher. She called me because she worried about my son. Can you leave? But I just can. Can you leave my vest? You shyly look at him. He quickly understands and realizes. What are you thinking? You promise yourself that you will not like anyone again. You sit in your desk. Jungkook sits in front of you. So, are you married? What? No, by the way. Oh, do you have a kid? I say I'm not married. So how could I have kids? I'm divorced. Have a kid. That's why I wanted to confirm. I didn't call you here for personal talk, but I'm interested. He whispered. Did you say anything? No. Soon his bodyguard entered in the room with the making you scared. I didn't do anything. You raise your hands and stand up. Hey fools, get out. I don't need your security here. They leave. 
wear dress or body cut. What's your work? I'm uh, is a bit just make making you so. Uh, oh God. So your son is mannerless, naughty, noisy, comes late, doesn't do homework. Look, I'm not at home all day. I try to provide him what he wants. I'm doing. He becomes spoiled. I'm observe your son. He is smart. If he give his best, he can top the class. Just need manners. Why didn't you give him private lesson at my home? He will learn more. At your home? No, I can't. Come on, it's my son's future. You are a teacher. You should help. For my son, please. Never say please, but I'm saying it to you. You grump as you see his face up close. I glance at her. What is a delicious look. You both have the same thought and but feel uncomfortable to sharing them. Okay, you can go now. Okay, miss, and yes, don't forget to come at my mansion for my son. He said in serious voice and left after winking at you. Did he just threaten me to come or something? Why did he wink to make me more nervous? Next day, you take the address and go to his mansion. His maid shows you the room and you knock. Teacher, you are here? Come in, come in. I'm here to help you in study. He pulls your hand and takes you inside. You look around his room nervously, feeling shy about picking inside. Where is your study room? Nah, ma'am, I don't have any study room. I only love to read with dad. Oh, soon he comes out. As you see, you cough and blush hard. Glance at you and freeze. Oh, you here? Good. You try not to look at his. Hello. Mm, we will go to hall for studying then. No, my son only study in the room. You nervously nod and sit on couch with him. His mom entering the room with coffee and snacks. Oh, you are here? What a surprise. Auntie, you? I don't know you live here. You quickly hug her tightly. You both know each other? Yeah. She is my best friend's daughter. Oh, I hire her as a stuntman's tutor. Wow, nice. By the way, what are your plans for wedding? Why both asking me about the wedding? I haven't thought about it yet. You scratch your head. I remember now my mom was seeing her friend's son's wife cheat on him and left him with one son. So he is dead so how she leave him. Quickly put on his shirt and look at you. I look at Vianney and them. Peacefully teach him. Sure, auntie. Now I'm comfortable here because I know you. You smile sweetly and takes his books. His mom leaves and Jungkook takes his laptop, sit on bed to work. You and Jungmin sit on couch and start studying. Ma'am, I want to sit dead lads while I study. What? Not now. Sit later. I will only read if I sit on his lap. Aish, I'm coming. He stand up and walk to the couch, sit next to you. He placed Jungmin on tie and put the laptop on another. Continue to writing. What a loving single father. Okay, then let's start. You teach carefully. I understand everything, mom. You shocked as he called you mom. He glanced at you with wide eyes. Mom, you feel the strange connection. Sorry, I mean ma'am. I'm sorry from him. It's okay, let's continue. You come closer to him, helping to find the spelling and teach him. He keep his eyes on laptop and wanted to peck Jungmin. 
he accidentally pecked your head instead to tongue me. You felt the peck and woke up with surprise expression. Trying as he realized he accidentally pecked your head, but he felt good. You rub your head and continue your teaching. A few weeks later, Thursday, he get ready well to homework, even show more manners. I'm surprised. Mom told me why not touch him this all. She's doing great. I'm even impressed by her. Let's play something. No, ma'am will soon come. I need to complete my homework. Don't disturb. He smiled wildly to seeing him reading by himself. Do you enter in the room? He quickly ran to you and hugged you tightly. Are you done with your homework? You clean down hit his head and peck his forehead. Yes, I'm done. Very good. You open your bag and pull out the contour pencil and give him. It's your gift. Now you start to call him that lovingly. We both sit down to study. He was searching for his shirt and socks. Where did my shirt go and my socks? You hear him. Your shirt is in right closet and socks are in washroom. Why did you put the wet towel on bed? Go and hang it up. He hears and turns to you. She knows my all things. Take care of me like she is my wife. Why am I thinking this? Sorry, he quickly takes the towel and hang it up. You are overseeing their details need to, making them feel like they have someone who cares for them. Sneeze. Hey, I guess he gets a cold. Give him some medicine. Oh, I didn't notice. I will. Thanks. I'm going to washroom. Goes to the washroom and you sit peacefully looking at his hair and shirt collar. You walk up to him and hold his shirt, making him feel butterfly. What are you? You fix his collar and smooth his hair you are but keep yourself neat thanks for advice did you eat chocolate before coming here yes but how did you know wipes your lips and giggle i forget to wipe it off here pull your wrist and pull you closer making you You are the light of the drives me away with my darkness. You handle him well, even care for me sometime. You brought a light into my life. We are broken inside. You hear and feel the pain in his voice. I thought my son will never receive the mother's love. I will have to stay alone, but you, your son is cutest. I love to spending time with him. I'm proud of you. You are the loving single father, handling everything alone. You both grow closer over the weeks, your feeling for each other deepen. You no longer feel shy around each other. Will you be my sons? Before he can finish the sentence, you felt it easy. Quickly holds you and you both accidentally fell into the bed. I hold her and lay her on the bed. Hey, what happened? Checks your forehead. You quickly lie, holding the strong shoulder. Oh God, you have fever. You should rest. Yeah, maybe I had a fever, but I'm fine. What are you saying? Just tell me that. I can see my son's mom sick. You start to stand up. He quickly carries you and leads you again. What did you say? You hear it correctly. He takes a wet handkerchief and plays on your forehead. Calls the doctor with a worried expression. You hold his hand. Thanks, I'm ready. I guess I have feeling for you. Really? He is shocked. He walked out from the washroom. Now I'm feeling light. Quickly picks up and happily pack him. You got mom. Look at you with a teary eye, smiling face. Don't cry. I'm just happy to see your face is happy. I'm glad to reason of your happiness. Three years later. Oh, she looks little, right dad? Your little sister is just cute as you. Dear, you have a sister now, you are the older brother, so you need to be more responsible, okay? Thank you so much, you have been changed my life, giving me a beautiful girl. Your love means everything and jungle, we can't live without you. 
I'm yours. You don't need to thank me. Now, yes, I will take care of our two. Like this danger was entered in your life, and now you're both living happily. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.